Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, playing some more Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Uh, last time we fought with the Shadow Sisters, uh, we discovered that Vivian is an absolute sweetheart, and um, we got back Madame Flory's necklace, and now Madame Flory has joined us. Here she is. Uh, she's gonna help us out by using the wind. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna take Madame Flory back to the Great Bogley Tree now, uh, which is this way. Uh, yep, we have full stats. Just wanted to make sure we didn't need to use that healing block. Down the pipe we go. Up the pipe we go also. <laughs> A little twirly-whirly here, there we go, through the gap. I believe the Great Boggly Tree is not too far away. Our way over there. You can avoid all the enemies on this screen just by standing at the back here, so that's helpful. There we go. You got an email! Let's have a look at what the email says. Uh, this one? Rogue Port today, bringing you all the up-to-the-moment news as it happens. We now have details of yet another incident at the parlour in West Rogueport. Outraged by the high Pianta prices, Doomfree, age 30, is suspected of violently shaking the Pianta Changer, age 5, causing the Pianta Changer's alarm to sound, which led to the Pianta Changer ceasing to function for a brief period. The parlour was forced to close down temporarily. The victim was quoted as saying, I am a machine. No matter how hard I am shook, I feel no pain. End interview. Shop reporter, go! Get all the hottest shopping news about all the hottest shopping spots in the world. Adelberg's your destination, you can't miss the shop that's been the talk of the town for the last 20 years, Nifty's shop. The friendly owner has long been thought to be the most eligible bachelor in town, but word, word is he's secretly in love with the girl at the inn. The wise and witty shopkeeper had this to say, you only live once, so enjoy it while you can. Shop now at good old Nifty's shop. Cooking for rookies. Interested in cooking but don't know what to cook? Try our chef's delicious suggestions. Today's yummy recipe. Fried shrooms. Just season your mushrooms, saute them up, and they're ready for the dinner table. Editor's note. We hope you enjoyed RDM's premiere issue. We look forward to future editions coming your way soon. Published by Brogueport Restoration Committee. Okay, so none of that was really important. <laughs> um, but, you know, sometimes it's good to check your email. Actually, it's not usually good to check your email. What am I talking about? <laughs> okay, so here's the Great Bogley Tree. Let's head on in. Okay. So, uh, that's the regular entrance which is boarded up. The secret entrance is up here. There we go, secret entrance. That's the secret entrance! We can finally get inside! Here I go! And puny is just the precious little things. Mario, I feel I must ask, did you know that I used to be a rather famous actress? I was a diva of the stage. I was known as Madame Flurry the world over. But the filthy air outside the spotlight repelled me, so I came to the woods. And soon enough I glimpsed the beauty of these punies and their pure little hearts. It reminded me of my own innocence as an actress. That made me realise. I'll ever love the stage. I must feel the spotlight shone on me again. I must! As you can see, these dear little punies helped me find my true self. That's why I must help them wherever I can before I go on my own adventures. Mario, can you hear me? Check it out! I was able to open it from the inside! Come on, over here! Time has come for me to repay my debt to the punies. Come along, Mario. But yeah, uh, the secret entrance is a bit too small for us to get into, but the punies can go through, which is why Punio had to go in there and open it up for us. Can we get Goombella out so we can hear more tattles? Uh... Hurry up, go inside! Like another world inside this tree, huh? 
Check out that, those statues. They must have been left by the ancestors of the Punies. I wonder how many years the Punies have lived in this place anyway. These are the kinds of questions archaeologists have to ask, you know? Too many. Uh, hmm, weird. Normally everyone's right here. What the hey? Hey, Elder, everybody, come out! Hello? <gasps> Out of naughty exonauts. Wow, who are you guys? How'd you get in here? Whoa, dude, is that... Isn't he that Mario guy? What? He is? We better get him then. But dude, Lord Crump told us to tell him immediately if we found Mario, remember? Idiot, use your head. If we capture him, we'll get all the credit, man. Duh. Oh yeah. Right on. Let's rock this chump. One, two, three, break. Do we need to tattle them? I'm not sure. Uh, yes we do. Okay. That's an Exnort. It says here it's classified as an enemy combatant. Not combatant? That description stinks. I think it means they're just low level foot soldiers. Max HP is 4, attack is 3, and defense is 0. They drink these potions to make them all big and burly, then they attack. One's easy, but if there's two or more, better watch out. Use special moves and items. Still not good at the slot machine. You got six star points. Crud, that stung, man. Dude, maybe reporting back to Lord Crump isn't just a bad idea after all. There they go. Oh, they locked the door. Pretty slick work handling those guys, Mario. Seriously, way to go. But the question remains, where did everybody go? What could possibly make everyone leave? Finally, somebody shows up. What are you doing hiding back there? Come out, for Pete's sake. I found it's a powerful ally. He... he's huge. Uh... Are you sure your huge mustard mustachioed man won't try to eat us? Huh? Hey, who's that? Who else is back there? Massive. I don't like him. He'll crush us. Danger. Nice stash. It scares me. So burly. Now, don't worry everyone. This is Mario and he's our friend. He's here to help. All these bad guys? Mario will stomp every one of them, just like those last goons. This it? So few. Well, we have to make do. Let me formally introduce Mario. Wait! How do we really know this burly fellow is our ally? Might be one of them. Unipa, what are you saying? He's not one of them. Listen, we can all fight alongside Mario and chase those goons out of here. We can take back our tree, we can take back our homes. Big bad punio. Listen to yourself, trying to sound all important like. You have no idea the kind of troubles we've been through while you were gone. What? What are you talking about, Punipa? And why are there so few of you here anyway? What happened to everyone? 
Well, they've been captured by those goons. The Elder, everybody, including your sister. <gasps> what? Petuni? Tell me it isn't so. Oh, it's so alright. She was taken off somewhere with the rest of them. They said it was because we wouldn't tell them where to find some crystal thing. We told them we'd never heard of it. Oh, poor Petuni. Well, that absolutely tears it. We've all got to go look for them right away. What are you saying, Punio? We can't do anything to those giant goons. Besides, they aren't alone. The cursed Jabi tribe is in league with them. They're hoping to make this tree their own once we've been driven from it. This is it for us. The end. Adding this hairy old man to our ranks won't help a bit. How can you say that? You can't know that. We have, we have to try, don't you see? Think about it. If we all get together, we can take care of any stupid Jabis. So, who's with me, huh? Come, come on everyone, let's pull our strength. Huh. Punio, Punio, Punio. You'll have to convince me because I think you're nuts. What's that supposed to mean? Tell you what, you and Mr. Mustache there can get the revolution started. If you can free our friends who got locked up somewhere in the tree, then I'll join your little crusade. Huh, like that'll ever happen. Please. Fine, we'll show you. Right, Mario? Right? Come on, follow me to glory. Let's go help them. Okay, so... Yeah, first we've got to go find some more punies and rescue them. Uh, we can't get through this door because it is now locked. You're not supposed to be able to see back there. That's the widescreen patch doing that. Um, probably worth hitting this block. And this block. And then we have to go this way because we cannot go the other way. An interesting pedestal, Mario. When the punies stand on the panel, the machine counts them and responds. The ancient punies must have been really sophisticated. This is totally fascinating. Yep, it's a puny quota machine. Basically, we are now playing Pikmin. Uh, we need to get a bunch of punies into our into our squad and bring them back here. <laughs> Hmm, I'm not likely to use that. Let's all on the yucks. That's the yucks. It says here it's a creature created in the x naught Labs. Max HP is 3, attack is 2, and defense is 0. According to this, attacks and items won't affect it if it has mini yucks around it. So if any mini yucks appear, take those out first. Uh -huh. That's a mini yucks. And yeah, you can see it's shielding the big one. Mini Yux is pretty easy to beat, though. Oh. Doing that. I think they just have, like, essentially one health. Any attack will just get rid of them, the mini ones. Points. <laughs> hmm. I think we're good to just go. We're inside the great tree. Looks like lots of tufts of vegetation around here. Stuff could be hidden in those things, so let's make sure to check each one, okay? I did. Uh, is the same tunnel up here? Yes. Ah, dang it. I was hoping to dodge that.
That open again. <gasps> so close. I think. I don't know if those are actually close to each other, but they're similar shapes. <laughs> I'm having trouble blocking the X notes. points. <laughs> okay, so that was this enemy over here. A lash and mushroom. No. There we go. That frees up some space and it also heals Gimbella all the way up, so that's good. On the pipe. I guess up the pipe. <laughs> Man, this is brutal. How long until we find that stupid crystal star? Not even those puny punies we captured know anything about it. And they live here. After all this pointless searching, I think we're looking in the wrong place. <gasps> Ow's. Um, ouch? Zelda! Junio, is that you? You're looking well. Why are you so calm, Elder? You're trapped! This is our daring rescue of you! Oh, rescuing, is it? Well, thanks, I suppose. Those are quite exciting. But, I think you ought to help the other punies before you rescue me. Where are the others? B Big Brother? Where was I? Ah, yes, right. Your question. The rest of the puny, unfortunately, are locked away in the other cell. I don't mind telling you. Those uncouth, vile goons just have no consideration whatsoever. The elderly. None, none, I tell you. Honestly, I have to ask. What's a puny like me supposed to do in a situation like this, I ask you? Please, I want to know. But anyway, puny, listen. Yes, listen to your elder. I have to say something vital to you. Listen up. Um, let me think. Where was I? Oh yes, right. Okay, okay, now she's looping. <laughs> Is that my punio? Tuny, thank heavens. You're here, you're safe. I knew you'd come for me, punio, I just knew it. Of course I would, dear sister. And I brought us a mighty ally. Look at him. We're gonna get you out of there right away, I swear. You just hold tight a second. Okay. Mario, listen, we've got to find the cell key or we're going nowhere. Can we just turn sideways and do this? Big brother, you came! That's Punio's sister, Pachuni. She really cares about her brother. I mean, you can just feel her love for him. I feel totally awful that she's all trapped in here. Let's hurry up and help her and the rest of them, okay? But why can't they just turn sideways and walk through the bars? Like, because I'm here, they should be able to do it. There's a red cell and a blue cell here. Crump must have made him to hold the punies. With gaps like those between the bars, I think we could get through, though. That's the elder that Puniper mentioned. You gotta be real old to be called elder. Being trapped in here can't be good for her health. Let's hurry up and help her. Um, who goes looking up an old woman in a place like this? I think we've got to go look for the key, which doesn't make a lot of sense, but there you go. There you have it. <laughs> oh, well, isn't this a treat? We must stop meeting like this, don't you think? 
Hey, stop right there, Missy. You're that thieving girl we saw before. What are you doing here? Well, anyway, I heard there were nice badges to be found here, so I came looking. The only problem is I've been running into more trouble than I expected. <laughs> but who cares about that? Lovely to see you again. Ew, not another smooch. Who do you think you are, you total floozy? Precious crystal star you're looking for is near the bottom of this tree. Good luck finding it for the others. Mm -hmm -hmm. Take care, my handsome star superstar. Let's to get together again soon. I can't believe that girl. Ugh, I can't stand her. Uh-oh. Oh, my aching. Hey, you. You're the dirtbag who hit me from behind, aren't you? Yeah, real fair, you scum. You fight dirty, you get dirty, and I'll be doing the dirting. Okay, there's just one of you, so... I mean, not going to go for long. <laughs> You've got three star points! <laughs> You got a red key. A key that opens the red cell door. Uh, it looks like Ms. Mao's already got what was in that other chest. I think it was a badge, but we don't get it because she got it. What's in here? An ultra shroom. I feel great mushroom. Replenishes 50 HP. Okay, so we can't open this cell because we only have the red key. So we'll open this cell. Elder, we're back. We're here to rescue you. Oh, this child. Punio, sit down this instant and keep your mouth shut. Huh? What? Why? What did I do? Uh, listen, Elder, I don't know why you're mad, but we came here to help you. Stop your mumbling, you, and mind your elders, you whelp. How could you abandon your poor sister and run off like that? Absolutely shameful. But, but Elder, I just went to find help to help rescue you? I'll stop with the whining, never interrupt an elder mid-lecture. Never! You wonder why the other punies call you a doofus sometimes? That's why. And your time to be a doofus is over because you have to lead our puny tribe one day. That day is not far off, and that is why you need to listen. Now, first of all... Several hours later... <laughs> I would do a French narrator voice, but I, I can't. But, you know, imagine the Spongebob narrator. Going several hours later. I need more French than that because I can't do the accent. <laughs> or else. You got that. From now on, you've got to get your act together, Punio. Yes, Elder. Yes, I understand. Ah, only answer once. But say, by the way, why are you here anyway? Uh, I was just telling you, we came to rescue everyone. We started with you, Elder. Oh, is that so? Well, good. In that case, get me out of here already. Criminy. This cell is cold, which isn't good for the old back, and there's this damp stench. Uh, well, there she goes. Now standing around. Just you wait, Petunia. I'll be right back for you. Okay, big brother. I'll be waiting. Right, so we gotta follow the elder now. I'm not sure if she has a name. It's just the elder. A little strange. Drop down here, save a little time. Uh, we still don't have enough punies to activate this. We will need 10. And we have actually zero. I'm not sure where Punio went. Well, if it isn't Punio. Hmm, you heard me. Hmm. Can't say I expected you to manage to rescue the Elder. I told you I could do it. 
don't get a swelled head, that doesn't mean I'll accept you as our leader. And it def definitely doesn't mean I completely trust that mustache guy either. For starters, you still haven't rescued the other punies yet. I'm not lifting an antenna to help until you do. You stubborn mule. Deplorable, how dare you talk like that knowing what we're up against. We must stand together now, we must take back our tree. Don't you understand that? But, but Elder. That's your trap, Juniper. And mind me, you hear? You'll help Mustachio here. What'd you say your name was again? It was, uh, it was Marty, wasn't it? Mario, he's Mario. I mean, sheesh, he's only world famous. Come on. Yes, yes, simmer down, you. Everyone else, help Mario clear out our tree. All right, Elder, whatever you say. I'm not heartless or anything. To tell you the truth, I'm worried about Petunie, too. And you're right, we have no choice. We must fight. Right, everybody? There you go, my punies. That's the spirit. Ten punies joined your party. Thanks, you guys. Hey, if you're done rallying everyone, I have a question. We're looking for this crystal star thingamajig. Ever heard of it? Crystal star, eh? Hmm. Yes, perhaps. Hidden down, down, down at the bottom of this tree is a funny coloured stone. What do we do with it? Oh right, guard it from evil and give it to a pure heart. That's what generations of elders have been taught. Might be the crystal star. Marty, or Mario. I'm thinking you better get it before those goons do. I don't quite see how just, how just yet, but I'm betting it's connected to the, But I bet it's connected to us getting our tree back. You got all that, Mario? Crystal star, bottom part of the tree. Go to it. Oh, hold your horses, I forgot something. Before you can get the crystal star, you must save all of the captured punies. Yep, we'll never get to that gem without the help of the punies. Not a chance. So here, you better take this. Puny orb is the symbol of our leader. If you place this in the pedestals you'll see around the tree, the punies will gather. Just remember to take the orb with you when you're done using it. Because, well, if you don't, everyone will just kind of hang out and stare at the orb. But a puny orb, the emblem of a puny leader, given to you by the elder. Alright guys, let's go rescue everybody! Okay, as you can see... Oh, oh and one more thing! <laughs> I'm sorry, so sorry, I've been awfully forgetful as of late. Now then, where was I? Oh right, on your way to the Crystal Star. If you lose any of the punies and have a hard time finding them, just come see me. What I'll do is I'll give a whistle to call them back here. You got all that? So yeah, it's Pikmin. We're playing Pikmin now. <laughs> uh, we have 11 punies in our party. Uh, let me hit the block again. Pew pew pew. Um, we want to head back up to this thing. Uh, we have enough punies now to activate this. You'll see there's a pedestal back here. Uh, this is where we want to put the puny orb. Place the puny orb. It moves all the punies into the middle. And that will activate the thingy. There we go. Oh look, a new pipe. Come on, let's jump in. Yeah, so if you just leave him there, I'll just sort of hang out and stare at the orb, like the elder was saying. Go take the orb with you. And then you can go down the hole. The reason all the pipes in the in the tree have that little like door at the bottom is for the punies, by the way. That may have been obvious, but thought I'd clarify it. I wish you'd have focused on the back one looks as an item, but yeah. It's alright. If they just heal themselves, then they won't do any damage to us, which is perfect. And then we can take them out next turn. Here we go. You got six star points. A super shroom. That's good. Uh, I might ditch one of my dizzy dials, I'm probably not going to use them. Or my sleepy sheep? I don't know. Okay, that makes this door work. Now go through here. 
which I believe leads back to the front. Yes, it leads back here. Uh, we have full health, so we don't need to hit the block. We're coming up on a half hour though, so I'm going to wrap up shortly. Uh, the dealio here, we want to get the peonies to the other side, but they're going to fall down the hole. Um, so we'll have to figure out that puzzle next time. We can jump this gap easily, but I think the peonies will totally plummet down there. If we gather them into a group and blow on them, they should all fall over the edge. But then they'll come back up in bubbles, and you can blow them across. As for the door on the left, if you use that panel, it'll unlock it, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so I just wanted to see what Gimbella's title said, but she basically explained the entire puzzle. <laughs> yeah, you, you can get over here with the punies uh, by blowing them down here into the watery, into the bubbly area, and they become bubbled, and then you can blow them across. Also, there's a shine sprite down here. Thunder Rage. Thunder Rage is good. Um, hmm. I'm drop my other dizzy dial. Okay. Up we go. But yeah, next time I will do that puzzle, but for now, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, this has been Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door. Um, I should probably look at the Goombella Tattles at the end of the room so that it doesn't spoil any of the puzzles, because it looks like he does just kind of explain exactly what to do sometimes. <laughs> oh my goodness. But yeah, so the next part of the game is Pikmin. We're escorting our, our little a little squad of little friends through the through the area using various techniques and we're gonna have some fun. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye!